multiplying radicals with indexes that are alike. Well, one of the things I tell my students all the time is radicals are fraction exponents. And when you have this concept down, the math behind these problems are really easy. The only suggestion I have is that you actually filter your information. You've got all these A's and B's and numbers. Well, break it into three parts. Break it into a part where you easily have this index of 4, but the number 8 and the number 14 go here. Your index of 4, the A's, combine them. 2 here, 6 here, 8 total. And your B's, 12 total because the 7 and the 5. And so what you've done is you've really just made your life real easy. Radicals are fraction exponents. Well, what I mean by that is this power inside the radical and this index outside the radical set up a fraction. 8 divided by 4. 8 divided by 4 is just 2. There you go. Now you have 8 to the second. Over here, same thing. 12 divided by 4, which is just 3. This part, though, you want to start breaking your numbers down into primes. So 8 is 2 and 4. I always circle my primes. 2 and 2. Okay, all primes right there. Next, we've got 2 and 7. Prime. Now, now that I have all these primes, what I've really done is I've helped break down the problem to something easier, accessible. Um, I've got a 2, I've got a 2, I've got a 2, I've got a 2, and I've got a 7. This index of 4 says I clearly need to have 4 2's in order to pull it out of the radical. And I do have 4 of them. So this turns into 2 with an index of 4, radical 7. Now you just combine all the pieces together. Your final answer is you take this piece, this piece, and this piece. 2a squared b to the third radical 7 with an index of 4. Easy done.